looking at running many commands uh, at the same time, but limiting how many are running at the same time. Hope that made sense. If not, hopefully it will become clear momentarily. So here I'm in a, a folder that is mostly empty except for one file. It is a list of URLs to images on Flickr. Uh, so if I wanted to download one of these, I could say wget, and I can paste the URL in here, and I've downloaded it. Great. Let's go ahead and just remove it for now. Now, let's say I wanted to download a all of them. I could say cat, that file, I could put it in a while loop. I say while read URL. I could do wget, and I can say the URL. Done. So what we're saying here is print out this list, read each line of the list, and make a loop, and each time it loops, set URL equal to, or the, the line equal to URL, and then download that URL. I'll hit enter, and it downloads each file one at a time, which is great. I'm going to kill them. They're small files. They go fast. That would be fine. It's not a long list. But if they were bigger files, or if the list was really long, maybe you want to download a bunch of them at once. Now, you probably know that you can do uh, wget and or whatever command, any command you want. And I'm using wget as an example. This is for, for any program. So let's say you want to convert a bunch of videos and you want to do a handful of them at a time. Here we're saying wget download, and then we put this ampersand, and that means uh, run that command and then continue. And we could say, you know, run the next command, which would be a different image. I hit that. It just ran them both at the same time, which is fine if you're only doing one or two. I'm going to remove those. But again, if you have really large files or if you have a really long list, that could become a problem. So let's go back up here to wget. So I'm going to say this list. So I'm saying print out the list and then do a loop here. And you'll see I have the ampersand in here now. So that's going to do, you'll see right here when I hit enter, it goes crazy because, oh, it actually crashed my shell. <laughs> uh, let's go back into that folder. Uh, that didn't happen when I was testing this out, but that's exactly why you don't, one of the reasons you don't want to do this. Back into images or, yeah. So it looks like it downloaded most of them if they didn't get errors. You could actually say file all these. And yeah, they must say JPEGs and they have a size. So. Uh, let's go ahead and just remove all of these. So again, so there's an example. I had all these processes running at once and it actually crashed my shell. Um, but again, let's say you're doing thousands of these images. Uh, Flickr's going to go, whoa, why is this one, one uh, IP address doing all these requests simultaneously? Uh, or if you're downloading videos, let's say you have a YouTube playlist and you all download a, you know, a few of the videos at once. You got a hundred videos you want to download. Obviously, if you try to download a hundred videos at once, it's going to bog down your machine. Maybe you'll do three or four at once, uh, but you always want three or four going. Well, that's where the parallel command comes in. So if you don't have it installed, say sudo apt install parallel, and uh, you use apt, aptitude, apt get, whatever you do on, on Debian system, whatever package manager you use, I already have it installed, but I'll go through this process. There you go, it's already installed. So at this point, what I can do uh, you can use it two ways. I can cat out my image list, and I can pipe it into parallel, and then I say dash j four will allow four instances to run at once. So it will start up four. If one finishes, it will start up another one. If two finish, it starts up two, and it will always try to keep four going. And in this case, now the command that you want, I'm going to do wget. Uh, you can do dash Q if you don't see the output. I'll say I'll leave the output here. And then these braces is basically saying uh, put here whatever is being piped into here. So if I hit enter now, so it's downloading four at a time always, but no more than four, no less than four. So there we go. All those files are downloaded. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and remove all of them again. Another way to use it, basically the same thing, only instead of catting the list, you could also redirect the list like so. Uh, what was my name? This. So that does the same thing. You get a, a message there at the top that's just a little message that you can hide if you want. Uh, so there you go. Again, uh, I hope you understand what I'm saying here. Again, instead of going through the loop one at a time and downloading them, or trying to download the full list at once, I'm saying always be downloading four at a time. Run this command 
no more than more no less than four at a time and my example here is very simple downloading files which is one of the situations where I would use this command because sometimes I'm bulk downloading stuff from websites and I don't necessarily want to uh, only have one download at a time but I can't download everything simultaneously setting a set limit in this case four uh, I can speed up my downloads without overtaxing my machine or the server. But another example would be converting images or pictures or doing anything that you have to do in bulk that you want more than one process going at a time, but you don't want to run everything at once. So again, that's the parallel command. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.